Well, I guess this is goodbye to this location. Um, I've been sitting here for, I don't know, eight years in this spot recording videos. You don't notice because I, I, took, the, uh, I took the books out from behind me. We, uh, we're finally moving. We've been here for 13 years, and uh, so this is where I normally record. Um, a lot of people always ask me why I'm always turned sideways uh, in my videos, and the reason was uh, I wasn't in any sort of uh, office when I was recording. I was here in, uh, in my bedroom, and uh, behind me that wasn't a desk. That was my wife's dresser. I just put bookshelves on top of it so that it would, uh, it would have the appearance of uh, some sort of sophisticated office. And uh, in front of the dresser, was the bed and there was only about a two foot gap in between the dresser and the bed so the only way a chair would fit is if i wedged the chair sideways in between them i couldn't turn it to face the camera it would be sideways and so i was i always had to be turned sideways um like that so i did that for years and um it was actually really tricky and there are some uh I just finished up uh patching the drywall from bookshelves that i had uh screwed into the wall um at various times, but um, it was always difficult recording here in uh, the bedroom because um, every time I wanted to record, I would have to uh, set up lights and camera and so on. So it was actually very uh, time consuming just to get set up for recording. Um, so this is where, I don't know, several hundred of my videos were made. And um, over here, Never, never recorded anywhere else because I didn't want to give like jihadis a roadmap of the apartment here. Um, this was Luke and Blaze's room over here, so Luke and Blaze would be in there. And uh, only had one bathroom here. Only had one bathroom in this place. If you remember that bathroom? I did record uh, the video um, where I shaved my head uh, when Nabil was going through uh, chemo. So you did get a shot of that years ago. Um, this is a little kitchen area, um, little kitchen area, and eating area. This is where Reed and Paley were. This is where Reed and Paley were. You can see I repaired uh, that drywall too because I had uh, screwed cabinets into the wall to store their medical supplies. And this is, uh, this is the living room. I could never really, never had an opportunity to record anything out here because uh, usually Reed and Paley out here and a nurse. So uh, actually a pretty small place we've been in for um, for 13 years, which when we moved here, it was fine. When we moved here, it was just uh, uh, me, my wife Marie, Luke, and Blaze. So I had that room um, as a little office for school and stuff. Um, and then, of course, we had, uh, we had Reed, then we had Paley. And uh, we made it work, even though it's tight and uh, all of us had to, to share one bathroom, including the nurse who would be here to help out with Reed and Paley. But uh, some of you know we had boy number five. We had son number five here um, recently, and there's absolutely no place for him whatsoever. We can't, you know, shove him on the bed with Luke and Blaze. So we uh, we actually uh, had him sleeping with us in in our room, which made it very difficult to record videos because when he's awake, he's noisy, and when he's asleep, I'm trying to make sure he stays asleep. So. Uh, anyway, if you wanted to know why I um, hadn't uh, put out many videos recently, uh, blame my son, my f son number five. Um, and so now we, uh, we really had no choice to, but to move. We knew we could, uh, we knew he, could, he was okay for a little while uh, with us, but now he needs his own room. So uh, we finally, after 13 years, um, are taking off. Now the cool part is we got uh, we finally got Reed and Paley on the first floor, um, and the reason that's that's important is we're on the third floor right now, and uh, our church was really cool and did a fundraiser for us to get a a van so that we could um, have a lift inserted and have a wheelchair van so that Reed and Paley could get around on their own, um, but we had no place to put any wheelchairs in here, uh, let alone how to get in and out on the third floor. So we've had this this awesome. Uh, brand new uh, E350, uh, Ford Transit 350 van um, for close to a year now. I've never been able to use it because 
uh, we've been here. So anyway, we're finally moving. We got Reed and Paley on the first floor and uh, we already got a ramp. So now they'll be able to go inside and out and actually get around more. Um, really, really difficult to, to go down um, from the third floor to the, to the street um, with all their equipment and so on. So Reed and Paley have spent most of their lives up here. Um, so it would be, be nice for them to actually uh, get around. And uh, also on the cool side is uh, I actually have an extra room which I can use now as a little studio. And the reason that's cool is again, there was a lot of work just setting up before. And uh, now I uh, can have everything set up all the time. So anyway, just wanted to give everyone an update. Um, the truck is loaded up, it's outside, and then I patched, uh, patched the drywall. So I'm about to head right out. And uh, anyway, um, I, I think since I have the same dresser and the same, uh, the same bookshelf um, that I had before, I think I'm actually going to replicate the exact same set because, uh, because people tend to complain when I change anything about that set. I have no idea why, um, but, uh, but people complain. And so I think I'm actually gonna set that up and uh, keep recording videos that way. But I also have some extra space for some extra uh, backgrounds or green screening or whatever I wanna do. So um, I'll be getting back to you real, real soon. In fact, um, in the uh, comments section, let me know what topics you'd like me to cover. I know there's lots of things that have happened recently where I just didn't have an opportunity to record on them. Um, the Robert Spencer being shut down by multiple, multiple platforms. Uh, Tommy Robinson's trial, uh, lots of things going on. Let me know what you want me to comment on and uh, I'll have some videos up for you real soon. Catch you later.